Your ego is your greatest enemy. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we listen in as Wayne Dyer talks about how to let go of your ego. Enjoy. Your higher self wants you to be at peace. Your ego wants to keep you in a state of turmoil in order to maintain its mastery and control over your life. You've probably listened to your ego most of your life. The result of listening to ego is that most of us allow ego to talk us into choosing dominance rather than tolerance as our style of interacting with life. Making the change from dominance to tolerance requires disciplining ego and listening to your sacred self. I'm speaking from personal experience in this matter, and it is one of the toughest assignments my higher self has presented me with. I have spent many years being dominated by my ego, and I have unwittingly made dominance and judgment rather than tolerance a cornerstone of my relating. My suggestions are all from my personal experience of transcending my ego-driven instincts. Making the transition from dominance to tolerance is especially difficult because the desire for ego satisfaction is so strong. To move toward the tolerance that your higher self encourages and away from your ego-driven need to control and judge, you will want to examine the qualities that sustain a tolerant approach to life. To become more tolerant and less controlled by your false self, start practicing being satisfied with what is. If someone you love acts meekly towards you, your ego wants that person to be more assertive. If that person is assertive, your ego then decides to dislike assertiveness. If you eat too much, you start thinking about how nice it would be to be thinner. If you go on a diet, and all of your thoughts then will be about food. If you stay at home for a long period, your ego starts telling you how nice it is to travel. Go on the road, and you start thinking about how nice it would be to stay home. You're in a relationship and begin to imagine it would be nicer to be uninvolved. You're not in a relationship, and you start wanting to be in one. Your children are running around the house, and you start thinking about escaping. You aren't at home, and your ego starts having you think about nothing but your children. If you identify with this kind of inner dialogue, rest assured that ego has temporarily separated you from your sacred self. In its ongoing program to convince you of your separateness, it needs to separate you from oneness with the center of your being. Then it can keep you in that state of trying to dominate and control others as a way of trying to achieve your inner balance and bliss. Trouble is, you cannot get there if you are separated from the awareness of your higher self. As you begin listening to your higher self in quiet and contemplative moments, you begin relaxing and taking the pressure off. You stop the false thinking that everyone in your life needs to be dominated or controlled by you, or that others must live up to your expectations for you to be happy. People are the way they are, and your need to dominate or change them in any way is the edict of your false self. Your ego is, as usual, trying to convince you of your separateness. It also doesn't want you to catch on to how it is controlling your life, so it convinces you that if you don't dominate others, they will get the best of you. Your higher self has absolutely no need to dominate anyone or anything. This is the ticket to freedom. Right now, though, in this very moment, your ego is working to convince you that the higher self and tolerance are ridiculous ideas. Ego will argue that tolerance means permitting criminal behavior and health and social problems. Its favorite example is that it would mean permitting the Hitlers of the world to commit atrocities while we tolerantly look on. Your higher self can see beyond this logic, so of course you can too, if you are willing. When Mother Teresa was asked if she would march against the war in Vietnam, she replied, No, but if you have a march for peace, I'll be there. When you become peaceful within, that is what you will have to give away. When you are dominated by your ego, you dominate others. If there is no inner harmony, there is no outer harmony. Ego needs the illusion of enemies in order to control you. When you are controlling others, it is because you have permitted ego to be in control. The paradox here is that you will affect the world in the ways that you wish when you cease trying to improve conditions with intolerance and judgment. It is only when you are not controlled by ego that you can choose to not control others. What you believed was power when you dominated others was actually the external activity of ego controlling you. Your impact on the world at large begins with the smaller world of yourself. 
You will foster freedom and peace when you are free of ego's control and know the peace of your higher self traveling the path of the sacred quest. One of the first steps along your path is learning tolerance by practicing seeing the world as it is, rather than as you demand it to be. These, then, are some of the ways that the ego attempts to rule our lives. Our goal in knowing our sacred self is to have the higher identities triumph over our lower identities. Essentially, your higher self wants you to be at peace. It wants you to know truth. It no longer needs you to dominate others. It is a very peaceful, loving place to be. At this point, I would like to have you stop looking at how you can get your own sacred self in order and begin to look at how the world can do this as well. When we have a world of people who are radiating outward the kinds of things I've been talking about, you'll begin to see a whole new world order, one that is not dominated by a world ego. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.